Hi everybody, this is Garrett Inman. This is my deliberative persuasion speech. My topic is hobbies. They're more than just rewarding. They're all about giving back to your mental and physical self. Who doesn't like doing the things they want? Who wants to be stuck working and studying all day long? I know I don't. Sometimes I just need to get away. We work hard to reach a goal, right? We study hard for the best grades, but most of that isn't giving back to ourselves, taking care of ourselves in the now. Those things like work and studying affects our long term and need to fill an obligation or a sense of responsibility, or it's to reach a dream. I know I study and I'm going back to school and I work hard to reach a dream and to handle my responsibilities. It's all about obtaining that goal to build a better future for ourselves and maybe our family. So what can we do? to bring some joy, relaxation, avoid that every what everybody hopes to avoid, that burnout and give back to ourselves. Where that day-to-day -day work, study, work and study doesn't feel like you're getting so that it doesn't feel like you're getting any sense of achievement even though you know it will pay off in the end. But what about the now? How do we reward ourselves now for a hard day's work, a long night of studying, the completion of a school quarter? How do we reset that ticking clock we watch as the minutes, hours, and days roll by? One way that I found is we need to have a hobby, an outlet where we can give and get some of that instant gratification that some of us and most people say that they don't want, but guess what? It's rewarding. It gives you that sense of accomplishment, the joy and relaxation. We toil and work so hard day to day after day but hobbies can provide fun and the enjoyment of something to look forward to after a hard day at work or a stressful time studying for school. You know what I'm talking about. Those big exams take up a lot of our time in studying for and in preparation to get that good grade, right? Same goes for work and caring for our family. These are all things that are important to us. Taking care of our family, our goals, and our future is important. But what about that small fact that we work so hard and forget to remind ourselves to give back to ourselves? take care of ourselves and reset for the next day. Because I know, and I can say from experience, burnout isn't fun. Much like any student or parent or any hardworking individual for that matter, burnout is not enjoyable. We lose sleep, we become irritable, our work ethic and cognitive rational thinking tends to spiral out of control sometimes. But worst of all, we lose sight of what we are doing this for. Studies show that when you engage in enjoyable free time activities, you have lower chance of burning out. Studies have also found that employees who have creative hobbies are more satisfied with their jobs and are often more creative with work projects. Ultimately, hobbies are great ways of giving back and taking care of oneself. And hobbies can be so many different things and activities to many different individuals, like building models and reading. Those are my two favorites. They allow me to escape for a time away from my day to day and kind of allow me to reset my brain and escape because I'm a full time parent, full time student, full time work. You know, I, it's easy to get burnt out. And the last thing I want to do is burn out. You know, I want to be there for my children. I want to be there for myself. I want to have fun. I want to enjoy the time that I have. It brings me joy and a sense of accomplishment when I finish that model or finish reading that book or even a chapter. Sometimes that's all I can get, but every little bit helps. But for others, a hobby could just be taking time to go horseback riding, take photographs, playing video games. I know a lot of people enjoy and that is a great sense of escape and stress relief. Enjoying time out with friends or spending time with family. Fishing, sewing, cooking, that's just to name a few. Everybody will can find something that they are passionate about that will allow them to just escape and reset that battery. Hobbies truly provide both physical and mental health benefits to adults and children. Let's take our time back from watching that ticking clock and have some fun. Let's reward ourselves. You work hard. You study hard. And handling your responsibilities. So give back and have some fun. All right? Thanks everyone for watching. Go find yourself a hobby and let's have some fun.